welcome to our channel where we update you on events happening in the world pointing at the coming of Jesus Christ. I'm Evangelist Chris Thomas and I'm the pastor at Norwood Altar in the United Kingdom. Some time ago, we all witnessed the fires in Greece and to my knowledge, this is the second time it's happened. Massive fire. We have people who are running for their lives. What was the significance of all that? Another prophecy was given before that, pertaining to the closeness of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, coming for the church. Yes, the prophecy was given. It was not just an ordinary fire. Um, without messing about, let's go straight to the prophecy. The Lord has spoken with me about uh, the events that highlight the closeness with which we have drawn towards the coming of the Messiah. The Lord showed me a uh, massive historic fire that is going to break out. A huge fire is about to break out soon. It will be in the news and you'll see a lot of people running, running for their lives. on the Greek island of Evia, a dystopian sea. Tourists and residents rescued by boat from the beaches as wildfires rage out of control. And a similarly apocalyptic feel on the outskirts of Athens. Thousands forced to flee as the fires spread. This is what was left behind. The blaze so intense it turned metal molten. Homes and livelihoods destroyed. Those returning to see the damage distraught. This man says he feels bitter. You can't understand unless it happens to you. Extreme weather across the Mediterranean has fueled wildfires. Here in Turkey, the EU sent planes to douse the flames, fanned by strong winds and a heat wave that's turned the land into a tinderbox. Now, let's listen to more of the prophecy given in 2016, where you will hear the prophet saying that um, many people will be running for their lives. And according to the fulfillment, you'll see that even cars were not safe for people to use to travel to safety. People had to go to the beaches because everywhere there was fire. Indeed, the prophecy did mention that. There is a very, very massive historic fire that breaks out. And I see people running. The Lord put me in the fire and I panicked also. And I see people running in all directions. But the fire is so vast and so huge. It enclaves the people in. It encloses the people in. So there was almost no way to run, but I see a lot of people running in large numbers. Large numbers. A big fire is going to break out soon. A huge fire is about to break out soon. It will be in the news, and you see a lot of people running, running for their lives. Fast and unforgiving. Flames devoured seaside resort towns along Greece's eastern coast. Tiny communities bustling with summer tourists became fully engulfed in a matter of minutes. Firefighters didn't stand a chance in stopping the damage, making rescue efforts all the more urgent. We ran along the beach and, uh, and then we were caught by the fire, so kind of surrounded. We had to go to the, uh, into the water and uh, dive there so that we, we, we didn't burn our hair, hair and, and, and head. Hundreds of people survived by rushing into the sea and later were picked up by first responders in boats. It was one of very few escape options in the face of immediate danger. 
Panagiotis Dagalos is searching through the ashes and rubble in the spot where he last saw his wife alive. They tried to escape by car, but when the streets filled with vehicles and the flames raced toward them, he knew it was too late. I took my baby and uh, ran towards the sea, while my, my wife, I didn't know what happened. I think she bent herself here. I didn't turn my head back. Nothing. I was running uh, towards... At least 60 people have been killed and more than 100 injured in the worst wildfires to hit Greece in more than a decade. Well, the fire started around the capital, Athens, and they spread through the Attica region, fanned by high winds. Most of the victims died in the coastal area of Marti after getting trapped in their homes or as they tried to flee in their cars. Emergency workers used boats and helicopters to evacuate beaches after people ran into the sea to escape the flames. Well, the Greek authorities have now asked for international assistance to cope with the fires, as Richard Lister reports. An avalanche of flame driven by high winds swept through these houses at terrifying speed. Nothing was left behind. For many of the victims, there was simply no escape. A local mayor said he saw at least 100 homes and 200 vehicles on fire. Some left it until the very last minute to leave, hoping against hope that their homes would be spared. But for the overstretched fire crews, this was an almost impossible battle. Many people simply fled to the sea. The Coast Guard rescued almost 700 from nearby beaches. Others were rescued from small boats offshore. And we went into the sea because the flames were chasing us all the way to the water. It burnt our backs and we jumped into the water. For others, trying to flee in a car proved a fatal mistake. Flames fanned across roads, leaving them trapped and helpless. The Prime Minister cut short a foreign visit to deal with the crisis, arriving ashen-faced for a briefing. Daylight revealed the inferno still pushing through the landscape. Flames lapping the sides of this coastal highway near Athens. These high winds, after a dry winter, have created a tinderbox. And it's these resort areas which are taking the brunt of it. It's a very green area where many Athenians have their summer homes, many people, including families with children who are now on, on school holidays, were at their summer homes at the time. And this partly explains the, the number of dead and the number of injured. As this fire rages on, it promises to bring yet more of these apocalyptic scenes with it. This summer holiday season has become a national tragedy. Richard Lister, BBC News. With ferocious intensity, the flames tore through homes, cars and livelihoods. And the wildfires quickly turned deadly. Within hours, large parts of Mati had been destroyed. Survivors described running for the sea to escape the choking smoke. Military and Coast Guard vessels, along with dozens of private boats, joined the effort to rescue more than 700 people from the beaches. Two and a half thousand homes have been completely destroyed. As usual, I encourage every Christian to believe and prepare for the rapture of the church. But then again, the choice is yours. Those with ears, let them hear. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you.